Shall we unbox this thing? Obviously, it's not a first unboxing. It's 43 years old from 1977. But, um, yeah, it's a first unboxing for me. I mean, I had a quick peek in it, but I didn't have a proper unboxing. So, yeah, here we go, guys. First of all, we'll take a look at the box. He says, let's move that. There we go. As you can see, guys, there's the front with your vintage... 1970s looking family there as you can see there's mum and dad and the kids christ knows how old they would be now i mean the couple there look like they're probably in their mid-20s yeah so you're looking at they're probably over 70 by now and the kids are probably nearing 50. yeah interesting that eh? yep so there you go guys and there's your <laughs> Yeah, vintage looking family there. All enjoying their bin at home. But look at it, how nostalgic is that, guys? Fantastic. And of course it says there, look, in big old letters, programmable colour TV game system. There's the cartridges I was talking about that are available. I don't know if there was any more released. I could imagine so, maybe. I'm going to have to start hunting them out, of course. And, of course, one of them you get in the box. Now, as I said earlier, very interesting there. Licensed by Magnavox. USA. I love what it says there. Plays on more size, most brands, colour or black and white TV. Jeez Louise. That is fab, isn't it? Right on the side, guys, you've got all this bump theory, he says. I'm trying to let you see it all there. There we go. Read the top bit there. There we are. And it goes into more detail there. Let's see. And down to a picture of the unit itself with some more bits and pieces on the side. Brilliant, absolutely. And it's exactly the same on the other side, just uh, this is reversed. And again, the same again on this side. The exact same thing. And then the only difference, guys, is of course the top. Let's have a look. There we go. Top just has that. Just the branding and whatever. Superstar. Just the usual again there, programmable. All that, another Binatone product. Yeah. And then the bottom, guys, just has some bits and uh, pieces of uh, how to open the box and whatever. Yeah. That's what the box would have looked like originally, because now it's very flat on top. But yeah, it would have had a handle originally. And I probably could get it back into that state because the box isn't that bad. For a 43 year old console but of course what are we all here for guys it's to see what's in the sucker isn't it so yep let's push it back a minute here we go and let's see if we can't get in there right okay so i'm going to open it up now guys here we go just fold that down there we are and then you can see once you're taking that first flap away that's what you there's with some more branding and what have you there yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna spin it round so you can see it properly. Right, so that's what you're faced with there guys. So move those flaps out of the way very carefully, I don't want to ruin them. And that's what's in the box, as you can see guys, all the pulleys are there. The original pulleys, the original bag, but it's got the bits still stuck to it, the stickers and whatever, and look at this guys. And the top's fallen off, I'll find that in a minute. Where's that gone? There we are. It has got 
Be a nice bit tatty. The original charger box, guys. Look at that Binaton TV game adapter. Yeah, it's the original, original box. Wow, is that a price on there? W. H. Smith's look. Five twenty-seven. Well, 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 it's got the original price on there. Look at that. That's fantastic. Yeah, so it's all there, guys. Here. Yeah. As I said, the top's come off, but it's all there. So I'll put him aside a minute over there. Then, yeah, there we are again. <clears throat> Locking into the box. Right, let's pull it out. Very gingerly, he says. Without breaking the box. <laughs> that would be the last thing I want right now, wouldn't it? To break the box. Right, let's put the box very carefully aside, because I want to show you something, actually, that's in the box still. Here we go. Right. He says trying to grab it. Uh, come on then. There we go. The original. Look, the original tag is there, guys. Oh my word! This was the original tag that was on it. How fantastic is that? That is brilliant. Look at that character there, jeez. <laughs> Look at his headphones on there. Look at that. Brilliant, yeah. There is a bit of the box in there as well, unfortunately, where that's come off. Oh dear. Yeah, put that on there. Right, move that out of the way a sec. And then we're faced with this guy, aren't we? There we are, there's the machine itself now. The interesting part is, as I said, the polys are here, they might not be in there best of conditions and bits seem to be falling off here but yeah it's like that on that side but uh, here we go look at that there's your cartridge now the only thing i haven't seen yet it doesn't seem to be any paperwork unless it's in the bottom of the bag somewhere hopefully it's there because there would have definitely been some paperwork but as you can see first of all there guys there's the cartridge look well hey in the you know, poly there, you know, bubble wrap. I expect that's probably authentic. It could well be, it looks like it could be. Yeah, put that aside. And here we go, this is the one you get with it. And there is only one. So that's a shame, there wasn't more cartridges, but it basically has all these different versions of the same game on there. But look how nice that label is. Look, and that is still nicely intact. Oh my God, has this been looked after? It really has. Wow, look at them. <laughs> look at that connection there. Jeez Louise. What does it say on the back? Oh, just that on the back there. Yeah. But yeah, brilliant, guys. Absolutely brilliant. But it's there. Right, so we'll put him aside as well. There we go. And let's take a look at what we've got here. So here's your, one of your controllers. Let's take him out. Obviously, we're going to take the unit out shortly. So as you can see, guys, that's the controller. Look at that. How weird is that look? <laughs> it stays in whatever position you want, so you're literally just going to be moving it. That is weird. Look at that. It looks like it's uh, something from uh, Star Trek. And there's your other button there. There we go. It all seems to be working fine. What a weird controller. And of course, they are removable, which was fantastic for the time. Most of the Pong machines, you couldn't remove them. So yeah, brilliant. Let's put him aside as well. All right, let's take this one out. Yeah, yeah here's the other one, guys. Just the same thing again. The stick that just moves in whatever position you put it in. There we are, and yeah, the button there. Oh, that's brilliant, look. <laughs> and yeah, removable. That is fantastic. And the condition of it. It doesn't seem to be any discoloration, really, apart from the little sticker. I can't get over it, guys, can't get over it. What a fantastic condition. Right, put him aside as well. Let's get to the uh, the meat. You now we've seen the veg, shall we? Right, take that poly off, which is just lost a little bit down the bottom there. Right, take that one away as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any paperwork with this at all. 
that is a shame. But to be honest, you get such a fantastic condition one. I mean, look at that, guys. Yeah, you could probably do with a wipe over. With a wet wipe or something, give it a little bit of a clean up. But, uh, oh my god, it's not discoloured at all. Not at all, guys. So obviously you uh, plug your controllers in here. This way you can select your games. Uh, not sure what these do. Obviously we haven't got the paperwork with it. On and off. These obviously do something. Not sure what. It says cartridge in here because <laughs> it's pointing up here. So yeah, you get this like you would your 2600 and any other cartridge based machine really. It hasn't changed much has it from this. Uh, make sure we've got the right way around and in it goes, does it just like that? Have I got this the right way around he says? Yeah, I think so. I think it just goes in like that guys. Yeah, there we go. Blimey, it's in. Wow, that is fantastic. Let's pull him out again, he says, if I can. Yeah, there we are. Let's take a look around the machine. So yeah, we've just got the black side there. Black side there. But as you can see guys, a fantastic, fantastic condition. There seems to be where you put your power lead, I should think. And then underneath, you've got the usuals. I don't know what this would be for. Maybe you can put batteries in as well. Ooh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Shall we have a look and see what's in there? Let's see. Oh no, look. Ah, if you were, you put your yes, you can. You can put batteries in, guys, as well. That's also where you store your TV aerial. Wow, and look how clean that is. Oh my word, that is so clean. So yeah, that's where you keep your aerial. So the aerial is built in. So I'm not sure where the aerial would come out. That's very odd. Is it fitted? Let's have a look. Shall I just pull it out and have a look? Where would that go? Hmm. Seems to have got itself caught round there. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too sure where you would feed that out. That is very odd. It appears to be wired in, I think, unless it's got stuck in there. Right, back in a sec, I'll have a look. Right, guys, yes, it's definitely wired in. And I've now noticed on the uh, battery, there's a little bit there. Let's put it down very carefully a sec. Feed that through there. Let's have a look. Uh, come on, you. Don't be awkward. He says, <laughs> and in there, like that, I presume. A bit. Oh, maybe not. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's supposed to be fed through there, guys. Why else would they have a hole either side as well? So yeah, put that there. So you saw, just trying to be so careful with these things these days. Because obviously they've got such age to them, you don't want to break anything. But yeah, that's the only thing that would make sense, really. Now, I don't really want to push that down too much. Because um, I don't want to break it, of course. But that seems to be it. Yep, there we go, guys. It's out. So yeah, that's what they're there for, guys. So you can have it either side. Whatever you fancy. So yeah, we've figured out where you put your uh, aerial. And it is built in. Well, what a fantastic little unit, but we need to see it running, don't we? It's all very well looking at it like this, but we want to see what it does, don't we? Absolutely. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to hook it up and we're going to see how it performs. Um, it was one step up from the usual Pong machine, guys, that's for sure. Um, and you'll see that in just a sec. Back in a minute. Well, sorry guys, it appears we have a problem. Um, yeah, when I hooked up the uh, Binatone Superstar, uh, my little portable that I use for that, my CTR, 
Uh, yeah, it went bang, guys. Um, yeah, it's probably never going to work again, so I'm going to have to track down another one now. So, yeah, unfortunately, we haven't got any game footage. Uh, me and Josh were playing on it for about two seconds, just testing it that it all works and everything, and then it went bang, the TV. Yeah, uh, I do believe that the tube's gone in it. So there ain't no repair in it. So I'm going to have to track down another one. So all we've got, guys, is uh, some stills for you, which are coming up now, of course. Uh, yeah, that gives you a kind of look at what is um, of the gameplay. Unfortunately, that is uh, all I have for you of the gameplay. Um, but as you can see from those stills, guys, it is a wonderful little machine. Um what are you going to do you know if your tv packs in your tv packs in um this is what it looks like set up uh quite uh impressive looking thing really it really is especially for back then um yeah i thought i'd show off the uh box again as well um you know obviously from the front and the side um and then uh yeah i thought i'd uh focus in guys on the uh extremely 70s looking family just look at them now this is bearing in mind that those two um you know uh, mum and dad there are probably knocking on 70 plus and that those kids are now probably in their 40s if not you know nearly 50 oh my god because as i said it is 43 years old this machine um so yeah me and josh have seen it working uh, but yeah, unfortunately, guys, I don't have any footage of it for you. But yeah, that is about as close as you got what you saw up here. Um, yeah, that is as close as it gets. Now, that is a fantastic piece into my collection. Even if I do have to try and track down the bloody TV to play it now. Um, but I've got some very tasty bits in my collection from that kind of era. Um, I'm going to show you them now. Um, so I'll be back in a sec, guys. Obviously, guys, here is the Atari Woody. You know this one already. It was on a recent video. So, yeah, he's a little beauty, obviously, from that era. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful machine in fantastic condition. Of course, I can't play him either now until I get another TV. And here, of course, is another Binatone, guys. Um, yeah, a fantastic condition one again. Uh, which was sourced for me by my son Callum from an auction house. Yeah, absolutely a beautiful looking bloody thing this is. In fantastic condition. And again, can't play it until I get a replacement TV. Oh dear, I better get one quick guys. And Here of course is my Atari 2600 Junior. Yes, I have the, uh, the revamped model as well buried underneath those uh, sticks there. So yeah, again, fantastic condition, beautiful thing, yeah, gorgeous. Um, you know, it it oh, it just looks beautiful. It really does. I mean, I love the Woody, um, but this gave it a little bit more of an updated look to it, um, especially with that uh, silver bit there. It's, it's taking that away. There we go. There you can see it more in its glory. Yeah, with that silver panel there, which made it look very snazzy, didn't it? Yes, it did. And of course, the original Atari 2600 box. The monster that it is. And I'm going to show you the difference between that and the Junior, guys. It's a completely different uh, yeah, size altogether. As you can see, that is huge. Huge bloody box. Right, let's have a look at the other one. And here is the 2600 Junior one, guys. Very different beast, isn't it? And look, there's the Binatone already. On display there, he's kept in the box. As he's got the box, he's kept in it. But yeah, there's the junior box, guys. What a different beast altogether. Yeah, lovely thing. And then again, guys, uh, from about the same time period, my television. Again, a beautiful example unit. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing with the weird cartridges. Yeah, I mean, I've got a hell of a lot more, guys. I've got more Pong machines and God knows what else tucked away in storage. But these are the ones I've got on display. Then, of course, from about the same time frame again, he says moving the Zumba out of the way, uh, we have 
the microcomputer, as in the, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the Sinclair ZX81 here. Yeah, beautiful thing. I also have a Spectrum, but that is uh, put away. Uh, fully boxed, an immaculate bloody thing that is as well. It's been put away, of course. Uh, yeah, so, and then, of course, I have newer versions of these older machines. Like this little beauty, the uh, C64 Mini, of course. And uh, moving over here, yeah, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega. So yeah, I've even touched onto the uh, modern take on the older systems, guys. So yeah, quite a few in my collection. So yes, guys, quite a few vintage bits in my collection. Um, and obviously a hell of a lot more in storage. Um, one of these days I'll have a big enough space to actually display everything. Um, obviously everything that's out on display really in this game room that you can see like when I do my game room tours, which I've got a new one coming up soon. Um, are things I picked up in more recent years uh, or things that don't have to be highly protected because of value. Uh, that is all behind this wall here. This wall where you see all the Wii games and whatever. There is storage behind. There's quite a large room which is just full and full to the brim of bloody boxes and crates and things. Um, just full of stuff. So you can imagine uh, there's a hell of a lot more I could display if I ever got the space to do it. Fingers crossed. Uh, we're still planning to knock it through at some point. It's just down to the older finances. Um, if we do, <coughs> this, this room will be double the size. So that will be fantastic if we ever do that. Uh, it's just getting round to it, guys, isn't it? Like everything in life, it all comes to those who wait in the end. Yeah. But yes, guys, as you can see, I do love vintage stuff. Uh, it's a real shame that my bloody TV went. Um, but yeah, as soon as I get a replacement one, guys, I will film the uh, Binaton Superstar and give you some actual footage of it. But there you go, guys, just a little bit of... Uh, of the Binaton Superstar. We unboxed it. We had a look at the model uh, as such. I showed you some stills. Not the same, is it? And uh, I sh of course I showed you some other pieces out of my more vintage, uh, shall we say, of, uh, you know, of my collection. There you go, guys. <laughs> Another video done and dusted. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, even though it went a little bit to pot. Um, it's very unfortunate when that happens, but what are you going to do when uh, old TVs pack up on you? Um, I couldn't. We, me and Josh did try to tune it into some of the more modern TVs, but you just wouldn't have it. It really wouldn't. I mean, we were lucky with a Woody because that tuned into a, a Sony Vega, guys, for Christ's sakes. But uh, yeah, that one wasn't having it. It was bringing up the picture a little bit, and then it was just, it was just too distorted and too nasty to even uh, film. So yeah, unfortunately. There you go. So anyway, guys, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, the usuals, uh, if you're not subscribed already, please think about dropping me a sub. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. And comment below on what you think of this video, of course. And uh, anything else you'd like to comment, really. Make sure you tap the bell icon and the all icon to get in any notifications. If you're ever going to get them, you better do that, because I tell you what, you have no blinking chance otherwise, will you? The way YouTube is with notifying people. And with that, guys, I'm going to say off videos in. Cheers. And goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.